What is going on, guys? It is... What's going on, guys? It's Tuesday today. As you can see, I'm kind of in the middle here, but I'm not really because I haven't hit them at all. Uh, so, uh, to start, I have, a, I have a plus six sock cleaver, and this is how you're going to be able to fight the shadows of Narn... Yeah, Yarnum, Yarnum? So many Ys in this game. Um, um, but yeah, uh, what I like to do is I like to separate these. I also like think that you, as a player, uh, should decide who is your biggest threat. And those are the ones that you should worry about and kill first. Uh, is whoever you have the hardest time fighting. Uh, personally, I have the hardest time fighting uh, Flail Fucker here with the mace. Uh, yeah, can you, can you leave? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I think that if you can get, uh, if you can, you should prioritize whoever you have the most difficulty with over everyone else. Uh, but for me, I actually like to get them all to about half uh, before I push one into the zone where it's going to, to kill. Uh, so you want to come over here and we're going to hit him a couple more times. There we go. Perfect. Um, and now we're going to worry about the other two, trying to get them to half. Uh, so we got this guy here. He's doing his thing. Uh, but he's he's down around uh, about three fourths now, so he's he's also getting to half pretty pretty quickly here. Um, another couple hits, and he'll be down there. Pretty far too. Uh, this stone is a really really great way to separate them from that other guy, or from even from each other when they get the uh, extendo swords later in the fight. Uh, that is a great way to kind of segregate them and uh, make them make them fight on your terms. Uh, so that is fantastic. Also, if you can, you want to try and keep them all within your line of sight. Uh, make the fight yours, not theirs. That's the other thing. Um, uh, sometimes that means locking on and locking off, depending on what you're doing. Uh, also, try to bait this guy into breathing his, his hot fire uh, before you really go in to hit him, uh, so that you can guarantee he's not going to be doing it while you're beating up on him. Um, as you can see, it's also very annoying for you to have to fight two of those melee guys at once, uh, which is also completely understandable. All right, so we've already hit you enough. It's your turn. Okay. Uh, and there we go. Okay, so now that they're all around about half, uh, we can kind of go in on one of them, uh, try to push him into the next space. So what you want to do is you want to separate them at this point. Uh, you want to try and work on separating them. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Um, so, okay, so he's a little, he's off by his lonesome here, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna beat on him a bunch, um, a little bit, I guess, is what we're gonna beat on him. Uh, and we're gonna bring the other two melee back over here, because again, that guy's not melee, he doesn't, he doesn't really have to go anywhere if he doesn't want to. He can stay right there, uh, and you can, uh, go in or out at your leisure, uh, in terms of attacking this fella. So, he's nice and dead. And look at that, the other two are already at half. Isn't that nice? Uh, now you don't have to fight them for 9 million years. Uh, so the trick with this guy in, uh, in the second part of this fight is you have to keep in mind they have more range than you. Always they have more. Ow, yes, as you can see, they always have more range. Uh, that is very unfortunate, which is great with this stone pillar. Uh, so you want to try and keep the fight close if you can, as close as possible. Also, make sure not to extend all your stamina on your attacks. Um, you want to keep some of that up in there. And you also need to keep your eyes on both of them. That's the real trick of this fight, is knowing what all three of them are doing at the same time. Uh, I've seen some videos where you don't want to lock on to these guys. This is, now, this is my strat. This is what I, I did initially. I'm not saying I'm the first one to do it this way uh, or anything like that. This is just how I did it the first time I beat these guys. Um, uh, another thing that helps uh, with this guy is, as you can see, a lot of his attacks are not sweeps. Uh, their swipes downward, or uh, their punches. Uh, so it's really, really helpful for, for uh, Mr. Long uh, Elastic Man over there. Uh, if you, yeah, if you sidestep, not back up. Uh, because then you're always going to be guaranteed to dodge. So we want to separate that guy a little bit, and then we want to go in here. And we're going to kill him. There you go. So when there's only one left, they do that move, which summons, as you will see in a moment here, a bunch of giant black snakes, which could pop anywhere out in the arena. Uh, and after he does that, they, they can pop out really anywhere. So you want to prevent that attack if you can. If you cannot, that's why I do it that way where I drop them all the half first. Because if you do it that way, he's only a half health. And when there's only one of them, look how quickly they die. Uh, quick, easy, efficient. That's how you kill him. 
pretty simply done uh, pretty simply done not as easy your first time doing this uh, as you can see even now I use I use 10 blood vials uh, doing it my way but that's, that's one way you can do it uh, I'm sure people who are better than me probably have uh, you know they, they probably uh, don't get hit as much but yeah uh, that's the way I like to kill these guys um, if if uh, if you're feeling uh, a different way that is perfectly fine but yeah uh, so that's how I kill these guys uh, of some clothes with fire resist might not be that bad uh, if that is something you bring into the table but yeah um, so you kill shadows the Arnhem and uh, I hope this is helpful have, have a great day